to this. Happy Martin Luther King Day, everyone. And today, I'm going to do a 2014 movie about Martin Luther King. And no, it is not our friend Martin Luther King. It is one of my favorite films about him. And that is none other than Selma. Now let me tell you about Selma here. Selma was a film that came out during 2014 and actually it was one of my favorite movies. Probably my cousins as well. But I love this movie more than the other Martin Luther King movies that we had. Why? It was because the plot, the characters, the writing, and the story about this. I definitely believe that Martin Luther King needed a life story about himself. Like his entire story. The way he was, as a baby, as a kid. But let's enjoy this movie review. I know what it says is actually wrong, but please, this is not what I'm trying to say. Fear's discretion. If you have lost your child from a burning or collapsed building, you should not watch this movie at all because that's what happens to these kids. I'm warning you, you do not want to watch it at all because this will be a sad scene. This is your one and only final warning that you will ever get from watching this movie. I have promised you. Rollers and it's just like that. But I study. I know how she do it. See, she parts in the middle and then... Man, this is just sad. Just imagine losing your kids like this from this situation. I don't know why I said that, but just imagine this. You lost your kids from an explosion building like this. And this is sad because the parents didn't have to deal with that. They lost their own kids. I can imagine how losing my friends from an explosion building like this. If my pastors did lost their kids, happened to be my best friends, I would never feel the same way, neither would they as well. But anyway, we're lead to a new character, Anna Lee Cooper, who's writing a registration paper about something. Probably about her life or the black rights votes. I do not know. Forgive me. It's alright this time. It's right when I say it's right. Anyway, Martin Luther King is in the White House talking to the president and also the president's advisor talking about how black people should have the right to have voting rights because, you know, back then it was the segregation so black people probably didn't have the right to have anything like having the same restroom, having the same water fountain, you know, etc. things. But I kind of do agree with Martin Luther King and this is what the president says to him which I highly disagree with. And you know what the next battle should be? The eradication of poverty. I'm calling it the war on poverty. It's a matter of political priorities. Poverty is going to be my focus at home, and I want you to help, help me with this. Uh, we can make big changes in these things for people of all colors, and I know that matters to you, doesn't it? This voting thing is just going to have to wait. Yeah, I agree. How on earth did they not found this person? Even if they did, they wouldn't even cared. Because who cares about those four black girls? Remember, racism did exist back there in this year with Martin Luther King back then. One of these criminals who murder us when and why they want has ever been convicted. Yeah, I know we have a lot of work to do now. Not one conviction because they are protected by white officials chosen by an all-white electorate and on the rare occasions that they face trial they are freed by all-white juries. Skipping halfway into this movie because I don't want this video being this long even it probably is if you don't like me doing that well I'm sorry go watch Selma yourself if you like to because that's just it. Then we're going to my favorite scene into this film which had the best music and the best walking scenes in it. Ew, Karen, can't you believe this mess why they're here first? Just nasty. Ick, Karen, these black folks think they have the rights to do. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, sorry, I had nothing else good, so forgive me. Sorry, not sorry, Reese's Cuff, Reese's Cuff. 
I was just trying to put some jokes or a bit some puns, so I was just trying to be funny at least. But anyway, the son is trying to get, well, sorry, the son is trying to help the grandpa in the grand while the grandpa's getting beat, and mom is getting held back, and he's trying to find a way to legit help his grandpa and his mom. They get to be down, mom gets hurt, and we are coming to the most emotional and saddest scene. <laughs> Okay, let me explain you this. I cannot take you this. I cannot. This is so sad and way more emotional than a four girl step. Now let me explain why. Because for one, just imagine being that mom and you just witnessed your child getting shot. That is the most emotional thing I would ever say. Because for one, she this is her only kid. Her only kid. And she just witnessed her only child, her baby, getting shot. Now that is what I call sad and emotional. Now listen. I love my mother, but I love her very dearly. <sighs> this is so emotional. I don't know if I can even take this up anymore. <sighs> but anyway, we come back to this scene with the president after having an argument with Martin Luther King. Now, if you're five years old, I suggest that you should not watch this because in this video I had recorded of Selma, there are some really unholy noises that I do not want y'all to hear. So y'all have the chance of running away now. Okay, I think this video is kind of getting too long, so I promise to make a part 2 out of this in 2024, because I don't think I have the time and effort to actually make a part 2 right now, so forgive me for this video not making no sense for you, or not even having your interest in. I'm just sorry, but I hope you enjoy it, so I promise to make a part 2, if I don't remember, just remind me, but anyway, have a good day my little pack numbers.